Well, this is something new. Never done this before. Okay. Never, never live streamed playing a video game before. But we're gonna we're gonna play uh, my favorite video game. It's kind of my favorite video game. It's uh, it's called Kingdoms. Now I've played Kingdoms, Two Crowns, Kingdoms, New Lands, uh, and all these various iterations of Kingdoms. It's a really fun game. It's very low tech. The fact that I've got this super powerful beast of a gaming computer that you know monitors the internal temperature of my CPU and motherboard is kind of ironic considering this isn't going to be a super taxing game. We're going to chill out and we're going to have some wine and we're going to play this game. It's going to be fun. And it's my first time and, uh, and I'm, and I'm fun. Uh, I'm excited to do that. Right. Um, by the way, go blue Michigan tomorrow, big 10 championship. And also Navy, my old school Navy football at, uh, go Navy beat army. And we're having some wine because it's a Friday night and we're chilling out. It's a, uh, it's a nice petite cab uh, from, I, honestly, my friend Nancy, my neighbor, like uh, brought this over and just gave it to us. So uh, it's uh, Bordy Vineyards, not sure. Uh, I think it's a local Maryland wine, actually. So we love that. We love supporting our local vineyards. Yeah, this is from uh, Hyde's, Maryland. It's got a little terrapin right there. We live in Annapolis, so that's why we got that going. All right, so here's the deal with uh, Kingdoms. Now, Kingdoms, uh, I it's actually called Kingdom. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the original, original, original. I've never played this before. I played Kingdoms New Lands. That was the first time I played this game. Um, and then Kingdoms Two Crowns came out and uh, that was a different game. And you know what, I have to like look behind me here. So I use this monitor for my TV show and uh, it's set up as a third monitor. And for some reason, when I launch the game, it, uh, this hilarious, it puts it on, <laughs> it puts it on the screen. I think it's going well, isn't it? Um, let me get back to it. Yeah, so I gotta grab it. It's really awkward. I feel like I'm backing up a car here. Do I have it? There we go. And I'm gonna put it back on my screen here so I can watch it and play. Okay. I hope you like that. I hope you enjoyed that. All right. So, um, yeah, we're going to skip that. Hang on just a sec. You, uh, you can't quite see what we're doing here because I'm about to share the screen. So the game just started, but nothing happened, I assure you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, I have, like I said, I have never live streamed a game before, but I play this game all the time. Anybody who knows me, and has stayed over at my house and spent time with me knows that I, I will wake up on the weekends. I wake up early because I do the morning show on WML in Washington, D.C., uh, right? And I will wake up. So I wake up earlier than everybody else in the house. I'll wake up in the mornings on a Saturday or a Sunday, put a podcast on my earbuds, sit down on the sofa and uh, play this game for hours. I can play this game for hours and listen to a podcast and have a conversation and show prep and and I, it's just it's it's only because i've played it for so long i put so many hours in that i can sort of i sort of i don't want to say i zone out with it but i can just sort of it's just become habit for me um that said i have never played the original so we're going to get right into it uh the premise of the game is you're a king as you can see you're that king right there riding a horse and um it's very capitalist you get the coins um, you start a fire with a coin and then you've got these little vagrants running around, little homeless people. And if you give them a coin, they'll, uh, they'll come work for you, but you have to give them a job. So for two coins, you give them a little, um, arrow and see, he immediately becomes a little archer and the archers are very powerful. Now the archers, uh, can kill animals for you, which gives you more money. They also protect you when the enemies come now more on the enemies in a minute. So I've got two archers now. And see, so he just killed that rabbit and I get that coin and you can see. In the upper right corner there, I have a little coin purse, and it shows me how much gold I've got. Now, as you travel along and explore the island, you see that you've got these other little vagrant camps, right? Right outside the confines of your kingdom. Here are these little vagrants who are uh, just chilling. And uh, as soon as you give them coins, they're no longer homeless. See, honestly, this is like uh, Gavin Newsom in the state of California should be looking at this as a lesson. You know, it, it's not just giving the money. See, the second you give them money, they come and work for you. All right, now, did you see how when I walked over past these two archers, they gave me money? And that's because, see, they killed some rabbits, 
And the second they kill rabbits, they go and pick up the gold. Now, I've got these two guys, and then they hold on to the gold. And when you walk over to them, they pay it to you, right? Because you're keeping them gainfully employed. You're keeping them protected in the kingdom, right? And then, uh, and so whenever they catch too much uh, uh, wild stock and make money off of it, well, they collect it, like, see, that archer just did. But then when you go over, you say, hey, give me that. That's mine. I'm the king. And he gives it to you. It's beautiful. And so now you see this little hammer here. I am going to hire one of these guys to be a builder now. Now he's got that hammer. See, he's got his little overalls and he's a builder. I'm going to hire this guy to be a builder too. All right. Now I'm going to put, see this little mound, this little dirt mound here that my horse is right next to um, and how this little space opens up above it. That means you can build a fence right there or a wall. See, that's what I just did. For one coin, I built a wall. And I'm going to build a wall over on this side of my little kingdom. And now, I know it doesn't look like a kingdom. It's just a fire, right? It's just a fire with a dude that sells bows and arrows and a dude that sells hammers. But this is how kingdoms begin. Little beginnings like that. And soon we are going to have a full-blown castle here. Just wait and see. All right, so the sun is going down, as you can see. Each day cycle in kingdoms generally lasts about four minutes, I want to say. Um, I think is about one day. So right now, on our first day, we have hired two archers. We have hired two builders. And uh, we're going to hire one more guy here. I don't have a job for him because, as you can see, my coin purse is empty. But we're going to fix that in a minute, don't you worry. Now, at night, at night, the enemies come. And as you can see, I've got one archer. As you know, I hired two archers, and I've got one at each of the walls here. The little, little, little wooden fence that I built, a little, my little wall. And it's going to keep the enemies away. Now, let's chill out here, and we'll see. It's, it's our first night. So the enemy attack is not going to be too rough. But here comes the enemy. Now... See him? He's trying to get in. The enemy wants my crown. And the whole premise of this game is you're trying to survive as long as you possibly can and keep your crown. It's a very simple game. And as you can see, it just uh, that was the kingdom title effect there crumbling as I rode by it. It's a very simple premise. It's a very simple game. You uh, build your kingdom. You expand it. You hire more people to come and work in your kingdom, and you protect your crown from the enemy. And at a certain point, you actually go out and you, well, you kill the enemy too, but more on that later. Now, I'm going to go explore our kingdom a little bit. You just saw this little vagrant camp there. Can't do anything with them because I don't have any money. This is a little shrine. We'll get to the shrines later, but the shrine is a way to sort of upgrade your abilities. Uh, same here. This is weird. So, I mean, I know this game very well because I played it for so long, but I don't know this game because this is the OG. This is the original. It's like the it's like the Genesis. See this portal right here? Yeah, more on that portal later as well. Oh, there's another portal. See, I don't remember. I don't remember the or I don't I shouldn't say I don't remember. I have no idea what this original design is and what the all right. So now we're we're up to against a mountain here. This is a mountain. Okay, so that was it on this side of the island. Interesting. I'm in trouble now. I've gone way too deep. I don't have any money. And if the if the bad guys come out for me right now, I will lose my crown. Oh, no. And see how that portal was churning right there? About, oh, I lost my crown. So I've already lost. I've already lost the game. Fantastic. <laughs> He's going to steal my crown. And I'm dead. Okay, lesson learned. That's all right. That's all right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta lose. You gotta lose once in a while. I didn't promise on this live stream that this was gonna be, you know, <laughs> this is gonna be a perfect playthrough without any problems. And so I'm exploring this, and I, so the reason why I went all the way to the side of the kingdom without any money is because in later iterations of this game, there are little chests full of gold that you can grab, and I just I was looking for the chests of gold, but there are none in the OG version. So there you go, I lasted two days. And I'm dead. That's fine. You restart, you do it again. All right, so the <laughs> that's just embarrassing.
<laughs> but I'm sorry. I did that, you know, I, I was exploring. You got to explore to figure out the game. All right, so now it looks like I'm going to be a queen this time. That's okay. It's, you know. All right, so let's start all over again. Then you start all over again. It's good stuff. So it starts you with these, um, what, nine, eight coins. And we're going to light our fire again. We're going to recruit these guys. And I'm going to turn them both into archers. Now I'm going to come and get these two guys. Now this deer here, I'm going to try to herd this deer. Oof. He does not want to come. So there's a, there's a little, oh, look at, there is a little chest of gold over here. See? Dang it. I was just looking the wrong way. All right. Well, there's my chest of gold. Now I got a chest of gold. I'm going to upgrade my horse real fast. Because um, they start you out with a lousy little little mount here. Now I've got a, this, this horse is going to last a little longer without having to graze. I'm going to leave a coin right there. All right. So I'm herding this deer. Now, a deer is worth more coins. Now, as you can see, he just got hit by an arrow. And then he ran away. All right. So to kill a deer, you need two arrow shots. So I'm going to try to herd him back. Come on back here, deer. Oh, no, he's going in. All right. I'm not going to waste my time on him right now because I have some more jobs to fill. I have some more coins here. Let's see if this guy's been killing rabbits. Yes, he has two rabbits. And how about this guy here? Sure. That's a third rabbit. All right. So I'm going to hire these guys to be builders, as I had said. And now builders uh, serve two functions. They build the walls, as I've already shown you, and I'm going to do that a little bit later. They also chop down trees. Now, chopping down trees is very important because it helps you expand your kingdom. Also, when they come and chop down a tree, uh, they also drop coins on the tree. So I, I just paid a coin to get that tree, chop, tree chopped down. Now, if you watch, when he chops it down, all right, he dropped one coin. Now, sometimes they'll drop an extra coin. So it is a way to uh, expand your bank account as well. All right, so he's going to go and knock down those three trees for me. I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to see if these guys have uh, killed any more rabbits for me. No. And ah, there we go. All right, so I told you there's um, there's two good things about expanding your kingdom and chopping down trees. Uh, number one is that it uh, it gives you some coin drops when they chop down trees. It also gives you more space to work with because you can build out. Uh, remember when I said that you can build a wall on the outside of your kingdom on that little mound? Well, see, there's a little mound of dirt here, too. If I wanted to, I could build my wall all the way out there. And I will eventually. This will expand this kingdom. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you something else. This is part of my strategy when I play the game. The very beginning, I don't waste a lot of money on the exterior walls on the first day or two, and I'll show you why. Well, like I said, normally I would build a wall right here, right? Uh, but my archers, on the first night when the enemy comes, it's not a really intense attack. My archers should be able to kill these guys without any problem. Don't even need a wall. Watch. Although, unless unless that's some sort of, you know, ability that the archers have in the later games, which I'm used to playing and not in this original, I guess we'll find out right now. All right, here comes the enemy. There you go. He killed him. See? He did not need. He did not need a wall. There you go. So, mission accomplished. I have uh, expanded the game. Now, the other thing, the other good thing about expanding is... As soon as the tree gets knocked down, if you can see in the darkness here, see these tall weeds here that grow, the tall grass? And there's a lot more grass. Wherever there is grass and tall weeds, it spawns more of these little rabbits. So now the hunting ground has expanded, and that means more revenue. The more hunters you've got, the more revenue you get. And the uh, wider you can expand, your hunting ground, as I am continuing to expand out this way, um, then the more money you're going to make. However, you need more hunters. So we're going to recruit these two guys. And hopefully these deer will continue going in that direction and uh, my hunters will kill them too. Here we go. Come on, deer. Let's go. Come on. 
Come on, dear. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's see it. Oh, ah, he turned back. All right, now these two hopefully will get shot. Yeah, I only got one left. All right, come on. Where's my hunter? Where's my hunter? Uh, that was a big waste of time. <laughs> it happens a lot. Uh, it's fine. Let's come back and collect the coins from chopping down these trees. There we go. All right, so that's that's all the tree chi chop tree chop that I'm gonna do on that side of the kingdom for now. Uh, we'll expand some more later. I'll show you, but for now we're just gonna stick with that. Now, this hunter is going to town here with the rabbits. Look at all those rabbits he's been killing. See, now he can make a lot more money each day because I've expanded his hunting ground. Now I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna build up my kingdom a little more. Get some tents going. And oh, look at that! See, that's not I've never seen that before. That is that is that is only in this that's that little gold chest just spawned there. Never seen that before. All right, so I've got four bows and arrows waiting for my new recruits, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some more going. See how I'm gaining more money here, more gold. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, chop down some of these trees here. All right. Oh, well, this guy, the peddler. Okay, so the peddler is uh, he brings you money. This guy. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so. All right, uh, so I've never seen that before. Again, that's a, a mechanic of the original game that I'm playing, um, where you have to pay four gold to get the peddler to come chill with you. Good to know. All right, I'm going to recruit these two guys as well. And it's almost nighttime, yeah. So that little portal, that's where the bad guys come out. See that? Now, there's another strategy early on in the game where I could just pay this bad guy gold right now and he'll go away. But I don't see what I gain from it. Oh, well, I could protect this guy. Maybe I will, now that I think about it. There you go. There you go. All right. No harm, no foul. Yeah, so I just I just paid him a piece of gold. He leaves me alone. He doesn't bother me for my crown. He goes away. My guys get to come back. Everything's fine. All right. Now, I'm going to go past his little portal. I'm going to go to one of the shrines now. And I am going to pay a little uh, homage, a little sacrifice to the shrine. Now, each shrine gives you a little uh, upgrade on your um, skills or your abilities or your little things that you're doing. This first shrine... Oh, shoot. They moved the shrine. All right. Never mind, everybody. We're back by the dark mountain there. All right, then well, we'll head back to camp. I'll just recruit as I go here. Um, so that's the other thing. Remember on our on our first iteration of the game before we died on day two, um, there was a shrine over here on the uh, east side of the island. Um, whenever you restart and respawn and create a new island, um, everything changes. It's sort of random where things are located, where the camps are located, and where the uh, little shrines are located and other uh, aspects. So, so good to know. Uh, the shrines are not on this side. That's okay. No, not really a waste of time. It is going to keep. We're just going to keep expanding. We're going to keep building. Now it's good to remember that we've got multiple camps over here for recruitment. Because this one recruitment camp that's right next to our kingdom, this one right here, it ain't going to last much longer. I'm not going to lie. Because we got to expand. All right. Now, this peddler here, he just dropped up. Where did, where did he drop the money? Oh, I see. So he drops it in that little chest. Oh, man. Okay. So, again, this is just a little different mechanic from what the peddler does in later editions. All right. Now, I just upgraded the um, kingdom again. I, I did my tents. First you do a fire, then you add the tents. Now this last time, this gave me a fence around the kingdom, as you saw. And with that, we get the little walls, you see? So that's why I have this strategy where I don't really spend money early on to build the wall on the outside, because your archers are good enough to kill the enemy that comes to get you. Um, and why waste the money on the wall when you're gonna get it automatically when you build that kingdom, right? Thanks. Does that make sense? All right, so I think it's time to uh, get rid of this little camp here because I've got plenty of recruitment going on elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. I think you know what I'm saying. 
All right, I'm trying to get these deer to come the other way. Come on, deer. There we go. There's one. There we go. All right, now I think if I just stay behind and just sort of slow walk them, I will herd these deer toward my hunters. And then my hunters will shoot them and kill them and make me some money. There we go, buddy. All right, so I'm just going to go up. So that first deer got shot. So remember, it takes two shots to kill a deer. So now oh, I gotta, I gotta, ah, they're going the wrong way. I wanna try to get them to turn around. Turn around, there's one. Turn around, bud. Turn around, bud. Do. All right, so let's see if I can hurt him all the way back. Ah. Honestly, herding deer is the most frustrating part of the game sometimes. Um, now, they solved that in later iterations of the game. They gave you some other mounts that actually attract the deer. Uh, we'll get to that when we play it another time. But uh, that deer that I did herd this way, he was killed. That's where those three golds just came from. All right, so I got some people who need some jobs here. Um, I've got four workers now. Did I, did I hire all those workers? I don't remember. Hiring. Look at all that gold they're giving me. This is a beautiful thing. I'm going to expand my kingdom a little more and give myself our main building. And I'm going to hire more hunters because I'm going to need more archers for all the hunting I'm doing. Oof, I just lost some builders there with the bad guy. If you saw, that's right. I had plenty of builders I where I got all those extra builders. I don't remember hiring those builders. Are they, am I just spawning builders here? I did not hire those builders. Um... I need more. Oh, so this is new. All right. So um, you can assign. Oh, man. I see. I just, this is all new to me. I love it. I'm discovering this. All right. So see, these are little crow's nests where you can, uh, little towers where you can put um, archers to kill the enemies because the, the attacks are going to get more intense every night. That's sort of, sort of a big part of the game here is that the attacks keep getting more intense and more intense and more intense. Um, and then every morning you get some gold. All right, we're on day four now. And the whole idea is you want to, you know, last as long as you can. Let me get a recruit here. There you go, buddy. And there's already a bone arrow waiting for you. All right. Um, so I, I'm just going to experiment here because I've never done this before. Let's see what happens. I think this assigns... Let's see. Let's see what they're building. Oh, I got my little trebuchet. Okay, good to know. Yeah, you need you need trebuchets because the attacks are going to get worse and worse and worse. All right, so um, I want to build a farm next. Now, you can only build farm right here where there is a waterfall. See that stream, the river? That's where you can build a farm. And... Uh, this farm, this little area for a farm, seems kind of far away from my kingdom. And I like my farms to be closer to the center of the kingdom, if possible. Um, so maybe I'll build my farm tomorrow, because it's already midday. So you see how these archers, when they aim for these um, rabbits, they kind of miss a lot. They're wasting a lot of arrows, and the arrows are sort of flying everywhere. Yeah, so we're going to upgrade that now. This is where the shrines come in. Hey, guys. Go get a job. Go get a job. Stop living off the land. Um, that's where the shrines come in. You can upgrade your archers. Um, so this is a shrine. And see how the little blue flame there? There's like one blue flame on the... Uh, on the little mount here, mount, or the uh, monument. As you keep giving it money, it gives you three blue flames. Now, those three blue flames means that your arching ability is going to last longer because I just paid, I paid a lot of gold for that just now. And now you're going to see that there are the archer's abilities are going to be way improved. They are not going to miss anymore like they have been missing. Um, although, even though they've been missing, they've been killing some bunnies, because look at all that gold they're making me. Now, I'll tell you, honestly, um, strategy-wise, in terms of making for the best kingdom and the best cash flow and everything, 
my strategy is usually to load up on archers, uh, at least on, in these early versions of the games. And when I'm not doing a speed run, which, which really there is no speed run on this original Kingdoms game, because you just have this one island. See, on future editions of this game, you actually have a ship and you move to other islands. It's very cool, but, but not in this version. And so um, it, my strat generally speaking, I find the farms to be less efficient. Building a farm and getting farmers ends up costing a lot of gold. And if you've got a ton of archers, um, they can make your money for you with all their hunting and they're cheaper to hire and they're multifunction. See, farmers just farm for you and they make your money off your farms, but that's all they do. At night, they just chill and they're sitting ducks waiting to be killed by the enemies. Uh, the, the hunters, on the other hand, at night, they become um, your army, right? And, all right, I'm gonna get to send the peddler over there to give me some gold. They become your army and they're able to actually kill the enemy. So they serve two functions. So they cost you less gold and they serve two functions to uh, kill the enemy and make you money. So I tend to like to load up on archers, but just for the sake of learning this game and showing you how it functions, I'm going to go ahead and build a farm. All right. So as I said, you build a farm where the stream is. The problem is the farmers live at the farm, and if it's not inside the walls of your kingdom, those farmers are going to be sitting ducks. So as you can see, this little mound right here, this is the closest wall that I can find that will keep these farms inside my kingdom's walls. So I'm going to go ahead and build a wall out here, and then I'm going to build a farm or two. So there's my wall. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to build a farm. And my builders are going to come and build the farm right there. And they're going to build a wall out here. And I'm also going to have them chop down some more trees because the drawback of expanding your kingdom and building your walls out, the biggest drawback is that now you've eliminated hunting grounds. So your archers can't really hunt inside your kingdom. They can only hunt outside the walls of your kingdom. Uh, no bunnies and no deer are going to spawn inside your kingdom's walls. So, all this great hunting land that I'm running through right now, it's uh, all going to become just sort of grass inside my kingdom. All right, so I've just expanded my farm. There's two kinds of farms you can do. One is the little the little farm I just showed you. The problem with those farms is at night, the farmers leave and head back to the castle area. And uh, then they have to walk back to the farm each morning to start making their farm. Oh, I just, uh, by the seventh day, I cleared an acre. There you go. That's an achievement. So I'm very happy that I achieved that. Um, so it's better to make the farm so that the farmers actually live at the farm. So I'm hiring farmers now, as you can see, this is little, um, a sickle, right? And that's what the farmers get. And those guys who did not have to, so now this is so bizarre, you guys. So it is spawning builders. So I did not hire those builders. I did not pay for those hammers. They just showed up. I, so again, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to freak out, but I've never played this version of the game before. And apparently they just decide you need more builders and uh, they just hire builders for you. I don't know if there's some sort of auto trigger that I can turn off of the setup of the game. If any of you know that, just you know, let me know, put it in the comments or whatever. I haven't even checked if you guys are watching or if you want to comment on this. <laughs> Again, I've, I've never done a, a playthrough online before so i can respond to your comments at some point if you want uh oh why did i just freeze oh because i left the window that's why because i wanted to look at comments if anyone was posting comments all right so uh now what now i've expanded my uh kingdom i've built a farm although i need to get farmers because everybody became a builder i was i was expecting those recruits to become farmers but uh, the game just decided they were going to be builders 
So I'm going to swing over as soon as the moon is down. I'm guessing the enemy has already come. Oh, by the way, the enemy, they're called the greed. That's what they're called. Uh, they're after your crown, but you can pay them off with gold if you want to. And uh, they won't bug you. Let me recruit this guy. He will become a farmer, and then you'll see how he can grow crops for you. I'm going to leave a... You can leave a chunk of gold there, and as a new vagrant homeless person uh, sort of spawns at the... Uh, ooh, another achievement unlocked. I've lasted through day five. So just so you know, I have... Uh, in Kingdom's two crowns, I have actually lasted into like day 200 and something. Um, so I'm very excited to have lasted through day five. Um, I've got sickles set up for four farmers, so um, I will populate that farm in a second. Now, I want to expand my kingdom, but I can't. I need to gain new technology. I need to get past wood and I got to, because what a kingdom is not like a wooden ranch like we got here, right? It's not, it's not like a lodge. A kingdom has got to be stone. If you want a castle, your castle must be made of stone. Right now, I have a very nice forest lodge. A forest lodge does not a kingdom make. So I've got to get new technology. And so I'm going to explore out this side of the island on my trusty steed. And I, I, I'm pausing, by the way, so that the horse grazes because he does run out of stamina. And I don't like my horse to run out of stamina when I'm deep in the woods. Oh, and see, now I'm down to just one flame here. That means I only have one more day of upgraded archery left. So I just, uh, just spent. All right. So see this little, this little tower here with the little mason, the Masonic Lodge <laughs> emblem. Uh, if I uh, pay some gold to that. I will now acquire the stone mason technology. There you go. See, now it's made of stone. Now I can expand my castle, my kingdom, and I can start using stone. And I'm going to need it because here's the deal. As I said, the attacks from the greed are going to continue to increase and intensify. And uh, wood ain't going to cut it. I am going to need stone. Now, uh, this little shrine, see the dude has a big hammer? That shrine enhances the strength of my walls. And there should be one more shrine over here, which enhances the strength of uh, the uh, production of my farmers. Um, oh, I don't see it. So maybe that is something that appears in a different way in this game. Again, uh, I've never played the original version, so I don't know. Um, this OG version of the game, by the way, this, I believe, was created in 2015. I want to say, I think it was 2015, and I want to say Meredith and I discovered this game. Meredith loves watching uh, Jesse Cox and Jesse Cox's playthroughs on, uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. And we saw Jesse Cox play this game once, and it seemed really fun. But at that point when he was playing it, I believe he was playing Kingdom's New Lands, which was the second iteration of this game. And um, which is very similar to this, but it had a little bit more enhancements. It had a little bit more stuff going on. Um, and so that's when we started playing. We started playing with Kingdom's New Lands. Um, ooh, we've got a Blood Moon. That means the attack from the enemy is going to be intense. And I am caught out in the forest. Whenever the, um, the greed is coming, you want to be inside the walls of your castle, of your kingdom. So I'm a little tense, but I know that I've got a bunch of recruits behind me right now, and uh, they will absorb any hits that I might get. Oh, and also, uh, when there's a blood moon like that, generally speaking, the attack only comes on one side of your kingdom. And it looks like I won the coin toss and the attack was on the other side. So I should go check on that wall and see how it is. But now, watch what can happen. Now that I have upgraded my technology... To stonework. Ah, oh, look at that. Now I have stone walls. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. And see how these farmers are chilling out and hanging at their farm? That's right. They're going to start harvesting for me. They're growing crops. And while I'm here, I can also upgrade this wall to a stone wall. There you go. And I've got cash flow going. And things are flying right now. This is a happy, healthy kingdom. Everything is uh, flying along. I've got a lot of people working for me. They're making money for me. 
I don't really need this peddler, but it is nice to just have automatic cash flow coming. So I'll pay for him to come and drop off some money. And I can have a little more wine because things are going well in my kingdom right now. Until it doesn't. Uh, remember how I said the attacks start getting more intense? Trust me, it's going to get very intense pretty soon. But I've got three farmers now. I should have a fourth, fourth farmer coming. I'm going to get a brick wall here. Here comes my fourth farmer. See, he's going to come and pick up that sickle. And uh, go, go on the farm over there, dude. Here's my gold that I got from the peddler the other day. Oh, and let's go ahead and build my castle. Now, the name of the game is Kingdom. And this, my friend, this is a kingdom. That's a castle right there. There's no two ways about it. That is a castle. All right. Now, and I've got a little guy in a tower here. I'm, I'm going to build an exterior wall over here as well um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, I built the exterior wall over on the other side because I wanted to be able to protect my farms. And over here, I'm really happy to have this wide expanse of hunting land. As you can see, these guys are making a ton of money for me. Um, yeah, look at that. That's cash flow right there. Um, and oh, literally overflowing with gold. Um, I'm going to expand a little bit at a time because each wall you build becomes a, um, additional barrier for the, uh, intense attacks that are going to be coming from the greed. Um, it's going to become more intense and more intense, the attacks each night. And, um, I'm going to have three or four walls here as barriers to absorb the onslaught and give my people time to sort of regroup and retrench as the attacks continue to get harder and harder. You'll, you'll see. This will all make sense as, as you see the attacks intensify. Um, so now I've got a stone wall over here. And you know what? I'm going to build a turret for this side, or a, a trebuchet for this side as well. You'll see. I'm going to stay here, and you'll see the uh, attack we're going to have here in a sec. So far, what do you think of the game? It's fun, right? I can uh, seriously. I can play this game. I now I'm paying attention on this one because I've never played this version of the game before. If I pop Kingdoms Two Crowns in here right now, which I've now been playing for probably the last two years, I, I, I it's such it's almost become second nature for me to play this game. Um, and it's very zen-like. It's very, I, I just sort of love the the feel of the game. Um, I love the look of the game. It looks like it's from, you know, Atari land, right? It looks like it looks like Atari um, Pitfall or something because of the very low-res six-bit sort of feel of it. But that's on purpose. They wanted it to look that way. If you actually look at the, uh, when the sun comes up here, oh, we didn't have an attack last night. Oh, that's because it was the day after a red a blood moon that uh that's sort of what it does if you look when the sun comes up you can see in the water the uh, artwork and the reflection of the water is beautiful and the way the sky changes each day there's a different sort of weather event sometimes it's going to rain soon um i'm building a ton of walls over here because i need protection um if you look and see, as you expand your kingdom, you see they they move the trebuchet out to the outer sides. It's just very fun. It's very cute. And I, I do love the attitude that these guys have. Um, they have little personalities in their own way. Um, but see, see, look at the water. See, so like if you look at our characters and the people who are on the top here on this little 2D scroll, scrolling play surface of the game, um, it looks very low tech. It looks very low res. It looks like a little, you know, 8-bit Atari sort of look, right? That's that's on purpose. It's just sort of to give it a little bit of a, a fun, cute character. But if you look at the reflection in the water, if you look at the beautiful colors around the sun there and the sky and the way they, the colors of the clouds change throughout the day from sunrise through the day, it's, it's a very actually beautiful game with um, a pretty impressive artistry, actually. And I just love the fact that they that they just made the the actual characters um, look so sort of low res and old school. That's a, a deliberate artistic choice, and uh, and it works. I like it. Um, all right.
right, so all these hunters have been hunting up a storm. They're giving me money. I'm going to keep building out here because I want my hunting land to be as large as it can. And, uh, and that will do it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna expand this side for a while if I don't have to. I've got a lot of walls now for reinforcements. Um, my builders are going to come out and chop those trees down as soon as they're done with the walls. It's midday, so uh, they should be safe when the uh, attack comes. And uh, feeling good right now. Everybody's making money for me. I got cash flow. I've got my trebuchet right here. This is the highest wall you can get. Um, I assume, so now, um, again, in, in later iterations of the game, I hate to keep saying that, um, in, in newer versions of the game, you can also upgrade your technology one more time and get um, like a brick and iron thing going on. All right, what's going on with these farmers? Why are these farmers just chilling out? Why are they not where Did I lose my wall over here? Let's see. I've got one, two, three. Oh, so there's five. So why does this game do this? It's spawning. It's just assigning jobs randomly without me doing it, which is annoying to me because it's, it's sort of, it's using some sort of AI de deciding that I need more farmers. So I got all these farmers without a farm to work at. All right. So I just built another farm for those farmers. I would rather just, you know, so oh, here comes the bad guys. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was a bad thing I just did. I just chopped down a tree that I didn't want to chop down because I had it. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Yikes. This is a, this is a, this is an intense attack here. Build that wall. Build the wall. Okay, phew, just in time we built the wall. All right. So, uh... All right. All right, so pretty soon we're going to have to start going on the offensive. Uh, oh, yes. There's an offensive aspect to this game. You can actually go after the greed, and you can start killing the, killing the greed and destroying their portals. And I think we got to start thinking in those terms. Uh, I don't know, dude. Do I? Yeah, sure. I'll take more money from you. Why not? Um, so remember when I said, oh, I didn't want to do that? I accidentally, I meant to drop a coin, and instead the coin went up and assigned this tree to be destroyed. So no big deal, right? Well, actually it is a big deal because when you ever you destroy the tree that is right next to a recruiting camp, the recruiting camp goes away. And I didn't want to get rid of that recruiting camp. I wanted to be able to keep recruiting there, but it is what it is. So I'll continue and I'll take down all of these trees as well. Ah, that really sucks. Um, luckily I've got another recruiting camp if I remember right, right past this portal. Um, and I have a recruiting cap on the other side, too. But uh, unforced error there. All right, here's my other recruiting camp. I'll go ahead and hire two more people here. And I'll go ahead and uh, leave another coin here. All right. And the next one spawns. And now I'm going to have some wine. All right. Yeah, that recruiting camp will disappear in a minute. Um, that's all right. I, I just expanded the hunting grounds here. It is what it is. No biggie. Um, I am a little concerned that I only have the one wall there. Um, these farmers, though, are going to start making me a ton of coin. So I need to start doing stuff with it. See, they've been farming. Now, most of the money... Oh, yeah, see, they're holding on to that money. See how they got little crops? See, he's got little cabbages, little, little lemons. <laughs> All right, so I got people need jobs. Always going to give them bows and arrows. Again, because the bows and arrows are multitaskers. They hunt, and they also defend. That's a good thing. But now I'm going to build some knights. Oh, that's not really... That's not really good, is it? Now, I'm going to start building some knights, and you're going to learn this, what the knights do. See that little shield? Uh, you'll see in a minute what that does. I'm going to build a knight for that side. I'm going to go recruit a couple guys over here. Here's my extra walls of defense I've got, which is nice. Now, 
in later upgrades of this game, uh, there is a little banker dude who comes out of the castle every day, and he gives you, or you can give him money. You basically, because because see, you can reach a point where you're making so much money with your farmers and with your hunters, and you just got gold coming out your butt. And so you can you can store it. You can store it with this little banker dude who comes out, and he holds it for you inside the castle. And then whenever you need it, you can come and make your withdrawal. But uh, I don't see that dude here. So so I'm sort of stuck. All right. So my recruits that are coming from the uh, east side of the screen, they're uh, grabbing these bows and arrows that I've left here. And as soon as I get these recruits that I just picked up on the west side of the screen, they are going to become knights. And you'll be able to see what knights do. Uh, where are those recruits? Did they make it or did they get slaughtered? Did the greed get them? Oh, yeah, here's one of them. There you go. The greed The greed got them. You know what, guys? Why don't you run? You know, show some, show some gumption. See, see, they were just homeless a minute ago, and now, you know, I, I paid them, I fed them, they're fat and happy, and they're just kind of strolling. It's like, dude, you want a job or not? I'm going to make you a knight. You listen, can you hear me? You're going to be a knight for God's sake. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Show some initiative. All right. All right, so we're going to watch him become a knight, and then uh, I got to go back and, and pay some more money to the little archer shrine, because... Um, so remember, I kept paying money to the archer shrine, right? So so my archery could be upgraded. That's important, if you can see, because the reason why I'm making all this money with the archers is because they're really accurate and they're getting really good payoff for their use. All right, so here comes this guy. He's going to walk over to the shield. Watch what happens. He's going to become a knight. There he is. He's a knight now. And then this guy's going to be a knight as well. He'll be a knight. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's going to be a knight. And... He's a knight. This other guy, he's just going to be a regular archer. There we go. All right. What do the knights do? Well, I'll show you. The knights are where you can go on the offensive. We're going to start attacking the bad guys ourselves. All right. Um, first, you got to make sure your knight is fed. Knights take money. Lots of money. See how he's filling up there? Oh, yeah. Knights. Knights, knights like to take your money. Oh, looks like it was five. That's all? You don't need any more? Oh, he's done. All right. Cool, cool. He's also going to pick up a couple of these archers. When we come back and see these archers in a minute, uh, three or four of them are going to have new costumes because they're going to become part of the fighting force. A little platoon of archers, actually. Go ahead. I'll show you that in a minute. But I need to go back over to that archer shrine. And oh yeah, look at it, it's empty now. I'm on my I gotta, I gotta feed the beast. You gotta feed the gods. Make your donation. Now there is a way to do that where you uh, maximize the use of your money. Yeah, so no more tech. Uh, you can maximize the use of your money. Uh, you just need to time it out. So like every third day you're over there and you're feeding that shrine. Do I dare not? I want to go on the other side of that guy. Oh look at the bad guys are coming here. They're coming, they come, run! Run! Um, so my, my farmer shrine is not really full right now, but again, I want to reiterate my strategy on this game generally really prefers the archers over the farmers. I would much rather use my money to recruit more archers, um, because of their multi-use because they can, they can make money for you with their hunting and they can, uh, defend you they can they can fight and kill so and farmers do nothing for the farmers make money for you don't get me wrong and it's good cash flow but uh it's not the most efficient all right so see how some of these archers now are dressed up they're dressed like little uh little army archers army archer not somebody named army archer all right, I'm leaving this gold here because if it overflows my bag, it's just going to, oof, I just lost a guy there. All right, you're good, dude. All right, now, do you want to see what the uh, knights can do? You know what? I'm going to go hire one more knight, and then we're going to go on the offensive. 
We're gonna we're gonna go kill some dudes. Let me hire one more knight. Oh, sorry, man. Why? Why? All right, we've hired another knight. And uh, I have some more archers over here. Let's see what my farmers have done for me. So they're going to be like full of gold. Watch this. Oh, it's all going to overflow and be useless to me. Look at that. Unbelievable. And I'm losing it in the water. Oh, we've made it past day 10. It's another achievement unlocked. So guys, here's what I'm going to do. I mean, this is our first go through with uh, Kingdom. The original. This is Kingdom Classic, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, once we get the hang of it and we play through this and you uh, you get the feel for it, um, I, I don't know if anybody actually even plays this Kingdom Classic anymore. Because um, it's, what, it's seven years old. I mean, that's ancient history, right? I, I want to say we first played this. Oh, I was telling that story. I think Meredith and I first started playing this after seeing Jesse Cox play it, Kingdom's New Lands. I want to say it was 2016, maybe. Um, and since then, we've just upgraded every time we play, we play kingdoms, new lands and, and absolutely played it all the time. Then kingdoms, two crowns came out and we were all over it. Then the Japanese version, which is really the same game, but it has a, has a Japanese skin to it instead of this like European kingdom. Look, it's got like the knights or shoguns. We're going to play, we're going to play all these. Um, and then they came out with a thing called Deadlands. Which is, um, I guess, based on a uh, an old video game. I might as well, I might as well play my last night here. Um, so we played them all. The latest one is called Norse Mans, and we we play all of them. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to continue playing this version of Kingdoms, and then um, I'm just feeding this guy. I want to feed my knight. Did you get it? Are you full? It's full. All right, so I'm just going to keep playing through Kingdom, and so you get the hang of it, and you understand what the game is like, and then um, we're probably going to do Kingdom uh, New Lands, which was the the first upgrade of this game, and then um, and then we're going to start doing some speed runs because I want you to get the hang of the game and understand the mechanics of it and what it is and what the objective is and stuff like that. The objective of this game, the original, um, and also New Lands is really just to survive as long as you can. Eventually, you're going to lose your crown. Eventually. And, and the and the goal was to just see how many days you could go until you lost it. When the seasons change, too, in Kingdoms New Lands, I'm assuming, assuming in Kingdom Classic here, um, the seasons change as well. And that changes things, because in the wintertime, there are no animals to hunt. And there's no farming. And in other words, there's no revenue. There's no money. And... So it's a lot more challenging. Now, in Kingdom New Lands, where you've got that little banker dude that holds on to your money for you, you can just make deposits all spring and summer long so you can save money to get you through the winter. But um, not in this version of the game. So I don't know what's going to happen at winter time. I don't know how you last through winter. And then in Kingdom Two Crowns, not only do you have the banker to help you through, but they actually do give you opportunities for revenue in the winter. Um, not as much revenue, but they've got they've added fishermen. They've added, um, and they also have like little berry bushes that the farmers can go and pick berries from and make you money. All right, so as soon as we're done with this attack tonight, we're going to send the knights out on the offensive. Are we ready? Are we ready to go to, on the offensive? We're it's day twelve. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. All right. There go our knights. There go the troops. Have fun storming the castle. Now watch what they do. Yeah, they're, they're going out. They're marching. And um, you saw that the greed, the enemies, the bad guys, they spawned out of those little portals out there, right? Day 12. Um, well, they're going to go and they're going to try to attack that portal. And let's see how it, well, let's see how it goes. And this is a fun part of the game because you can go on the offensive and you can start, you know, killing the bad guy instead of being a victim. 
but it also intensifies the attacks. So as soon as you, as soon as you destroy one of their portals, the attacks. The, first of all, you'll have, we're going to have to deal with retaliation, big time retaliation, and uh, and then the attacks each night are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So there you go. We just maximized our archery. And the, uh, the suspense and anticipation of the pending battle is quite impressive, isn't it? Ooh, look, we're 33 degrees Celsius. So far, our, our CPU is not overly taxed yet. I, I love that I've got this awesome as gamer box this gamer pc that you know is not i think it's designed for a more intense game than kingdom <laughs> all right so you can see the archers are now um shooting arrows and destroying this thing uh oh wait why are you running away what are you doing guys you had what, what is happening i'm not sure what's happening here they, they actually did they destroy it all right well i better get out of here <laughs> Well, see, the, the knights can turn and, like, swipe their swords at these guys, but. All right. I did, is that the, oh, no, they're still coming. All right. Well, let's, <laughs> that was interesting. So they destroyed the portal, and then the attack came from the portal and the knights and the, they just sort of turned and ran. That was sort of weird. I don't know what's at play here. See this little flying dude? He can actually grab some of these guys and, and kill them. Um, he car carries them off. It's really creepy, actually. Um, I'm just, I've got so much gold right now that I'm going ahead. I don't mind like sort of feeding the greed with gold to get rid of them. See, they take their coin and they run away. Um, cause I want to get, and I know that guy's going to go fly and he's going to, he's going to kill one of my guys. That's fine. Nothing I can do about it. I want to see what happened to the portal here. I do love the menacing music too. All right. So I want to get all, oh, these are all my archers that just got destroyed. I want to recruit them back here. I want them back on my team. Meredith calls them uh, homeless veterans. <laughs> they went to go fight the war for you, and then, then they ended up homeless. They're homeless veterans. Okay, well, there's so this right here, this is what the portal used to be. That was the portal where the uh, bad guy spawned. So now I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell my builders to come out here. I'm going to show you what they build. See how I, uh, I, I gave it five coins, and now uh, there's like a little scaffold stru structure there. Um, my builders are going to have to take their hammers and run all the way out there and build something. And uh, it's very cool what they build. I will show you what it is tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, tomorrow, but the next day on the uh, on the game here. The game tomorrow, which again, lasts about four minutes. Let's see, we're at uh, day 13 now and we're coming up on an hour. So that's about right. About four minutes, right? And how about that? Okay, here comes my builder. Because he knows I just asked to build something. So he's coming out to build the thing that he's going to build. And uh, I'll show you what that is. And uh, we've killed our first portal. Well done, everybody. And we withstood the uh, the retaliation and the attack. I still got my knights. And as you can see, there are new archers that have uh, become part of the troops there. Let's see if there's any damage over on uh, this side. Um, let's, uh, all these guys don't have jobs. You need archers, 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 all the archers, all the archers, all the archers, all the archers. Okay. Um, now how are my farms looking here? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And did my wall, my wall survived over here. It looks pretty good actually. All right. So we're good. All right. Now, if we want to do a balanced attack, I guess we could kill the uh, 
the next portal over here on the east side of the island, or I can just keep going and plow through all the way just on the west side of the island. I don't know. I've never played it before. Um, but I guess theoretically, as you kill these portals, you can keep building the exterior of your kingdom. So it goes as wide as the mountains on either side, right? That's sort of the, the ideal. And inside those walls, you keep building farms. You keep building, you know, all the things you need. So... Let's come back and see what my builders built. I got a lot of people without jobs here, as you can see. Now, I hopefully my builders over here are not going to get attacked by the greed. Let me keep my archer right here. Oops, I don't know why I keep walking away before. There we go. My builders are out here, and uh, if the greed attack tonight, they are probably already toast. But I don't think the greed did attack. Ah, there we go. Look what they built. What is it? It is a fast travel portal. You heard me. It's a fast travel portal. Uh, you put a coin in, and now I can go anywhere on the island without having to uh, run on my horse. This is very, very useful because the island gets big, and you don't want to like spend all your time running. And so now I've made it all the way over here. How cool is that? I think it's cool. All right. Um, so what do we do? What do we? I get all this gold I've got. I got what to do with it. It's like overflowing. It's falling into the water. For God's sake! I got to keep building. Clearly, I got to keep building. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Let me hire some more archers. And we're going to keep expanding. You got to keep expanding, man. So I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, expand on this side by killing the next portal on the uh, on the east side of the island. So let's do that. Let's go, troops. And we're off. Go, go, go. Get your business done. In the meantime, I'm going to build a uh, tower here. Oh, no. That, wait a minute. I just changed mounts. Uh, that's not good. All right, I'm going to build a wall here is what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to build two walls here because I want I want some uh, protection. So while the knights are going to kill the portal over there, I'm going to build some walls over here. Let's go, builders. Oh, they're moving the trebuchet first. Then they'll start building for me. All right. I don't know. Do I keep playing until I lose my crown? I have so much gold. I have so much freaking gold. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> We've killed the portal and I haven't built my walls yet. That sound that you just heard was the death of the portal. So let me see if I can go run interference for my troops here. The knight's running back. Only one knight is running back? Yeah, I see these guys. Oh, no, I got a giant coming, too. This isn't good. This isn't good. Luckily, I can pay them all off with gold. There you go. I'm just going to leave a trail of gold here. These guys are going to fight valiantly. But uh, it ain't going to end up well for them. Yeah, they're all, they're all losing their jobs here. And this little, this little wooden... Wall is not going to do it. Here comes a giant. Look at that. There's a freaking giant. Oh, look at that. He threw a rock at me, too. That's not good. That's not what you want. Oh, boy. All right, we got to kill the giant. Oh, we lost our trebuchet. That makes it hard to kill the giant. This was not planned out properly. I thought it was going to take a longer, first of all, to... Uh, this is just... This is mayhem. So the giants also, as you can see, he vomits up the bad guys. All right, so now what am I going to do here? I'm uh, sort of stuck, not going to lie. I'm stuck because I don't have any more archers because they just took all the archers. And I got these farmers are all going to get attacked. This is bad. I've done a bad thing. So all I can do is uh, get some archers ready here. 
and they got to come and uh, defend the kingdom. My heart was in the right place by expanding the walls. You know, a uh, uh, good strategy in the future is build your walls first and then attack. <laughs> this is ugly. Look at all of my farmers. They're all getting attacked. They're all losing their, their sickles. All right. Well, this giant will not be able to get past my uh, my archers over here. Wait, why are you running the you're running the wrong way? No, no, come come back, come back, dude. You got to stay on the other side of the wall. I'm a man. Oh, this is just a waste. This is a waste. All right, there you go. Come and fight. Stay right here on the wall. There you go. Now kill him. Kill him. Kill him. There, he finally killed him. God. <laughs> the carnage. <laughs> the carnage. Oh. Right, look at all these people need jobs. Oh. All right. Well, good, good lessons. Good lessons learned. <laughs> All right, we'll build that wall back up. Luckily, I've got cash flow. You know, cash flow solves everything. I may not be smart, but I got cash flow. <laughs> I may have killed half of my kingdom, but I got cash flow. All right, it happens. It happens. All right, let's 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 get everybody back on board here. All right, here we go. Come on back. All right. The good news is we defeated the portal. All right. You know what? Where are we here? We're, <laughs> that's our first day. Day 15 is a good time to take a break. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save and quit after day 15 <laughs> after that horrific onslaught. And, uh, and we'll leave it there for tonight. But we'll pick up. Uh, if you liked this, go ahead and leave me comments. Uh, like the video, of course. And uh, I, I've had a lot of requests from people to uh, to just sort of chill out and play games. And, uh, and, 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 and and as we get past just talking about the game, we're going to move on and we'll talk about all the things that we love to talk about, like life and politics and parenting and faith and football and whatever. So uh, we'll get to that as well. But uh, this is a good, good first outing. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.